Now, former anti-apartheid activist and uh, Robin Island prisoner, Bishop uh, Waters uh, uh, Toboti, has uh, been laid to rest at his home village uh, in the Eastern Cape. PAC member Toboti died from natural causes at the age of 81. President Cyril Ramaphosa offered a special provincial uh, official funeral to recognize uh, Toboti's contribution to the liberation struggle. Uh, a reporter, Nkululeko Nyembezi, spoke to the PAC at the funeral. We are coming live from the small village of Mkopozi, just outside Kondan, a, a small town in the Eastern Cape. This is a home of the legend of Japan, Africanist uh, Congress of Ozania, Utata uh, Oganyeum Africa, uh, uh, Bishop uh, Waters Toboti, a man who fought side by side with the great leaders like uh, Clarence Makwetu, uh, the one of the presidents of the, of the PAC. We are here today to bid farewell. You will remember that uh, the president of the country, Siri Ramaphosa, uh, granted a special provincial official funeral for the great man. But to get more information, we are now joined by the PAC leader, Umnumzana Umzana Lenyonzo. Sigazi, for sure, this is a, a loss for you as a PAC. A, a loss indeed. And a big loss to the organization, a big loss to PAC. But what else? We are accepting this. We have accepted it. We saw it coming. But we are here to pass, to pay our, our condolences and to give him a decent send-off. So what is it that maybe you remember uh, from this great man? Because I understand that uh, he is a man who had uh, a vision and ideas about pan-Africanism. Principles. He was a principled man through and through. He, was a, a, he, he is what we call a discipline personified. He was disciplined and that uh, you can see it because the man served under almost all the presidents of the PAC, of course, except Sobukwe. But Bishop has always been around. Bishop has always been part of the PAC. Whether we have problems or we don't have problems, whether it is bad, whether it is painful for this organization, Bishop has always been with us. So we have learned a lot from him. And today we are all talking about a united PAC thanks to the bishop, thanks to other veterans who called all of us in Kimberley and unite this great party of Sobukwe. Well, for sure, emancipation of uh, the oppressed indigenous uh, landowners of this country was key and part of uh, his ideas. Can you just maybe take us through around that? It was definitely key. It was definitely key. And remember, the item of conflict has always been the land. Now, Abu Bishop went to exile. They went to prison, they were persecuted, they were jailed for land. But truth is, today Tobut is going and the land is not yet in the hands of the rightful owners. If the land is still with the, with, the, with the few, the land is still with the white people. Now, truth is, we want to carry on where they have left off because what they fought for has not been achieved. Uh, for sure, Um Africa Utuboti is not happy about the, the prisoners, political prisoners, as much as well those who are from the PAC who are still behind bars. Uh, so what can you say maybe to that? Because really this is an issue that has been uh, uh, debated almost in each and every year. It is very painful. It is very painful that 26 years after the so-called democracy, we still have aplacadas languishing in the South African jails. And as you, as, as you correctly put it, Komde Tobot has always been raising this matter. He has always been talking about, about criminalization of our struggle, where those who fought for the struggle are still in jails, and those who oppressed us are still in charge, and they are still enjoying the fruits of our country. It's painfully, but what else are we going to do? Truth is, we are going to carry on where he left off. Let's talk about now uh, the idea of, of uh, crafting uh, or maybe of forming a, a political uh, school within the PAC. Is that maybe something that you are considering to make sure that you are crafting a new uh, uh, members, new young people with new ideas? Oh, definitely. Definitely. We even have in our constitution a secretary for Pan-African and Political Affairs. And we really want to have a, a curriculum. And, and educate our people. Remember, if you want to be relevant today in politics, you must speak PAC politics. If you want to be relevant today in this country, you must speak PAC politics. If you, you know what is liberation is about, you must speak about land. And that is always a PAC a policy. Now, we are, we are about to have a political school where we will teach our people 
where we're coming from and where we are going. And we'll, we'll always remind them that what we fought for and what about Tobo to fought for has not yet been achieved. Maybe when we ask about uh, your members, are you maybe intending to increase more members of, from, uh, of the PAC? Oh, definitely. We, we, we are not only intending to increase it, we have increased the members of the membership of the PAC. We are working, we are working day and night, we are taking this party to the center of politics. We are taking this organization to the people where it belongs. And come next year, come local government elections, we'll show you flames. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Thank you. Yes, sir, uh, this is the funeral of uh, the big man who is regarded as one as, uh, uh, of, of the cadres of the PAC who fought side by side with great leaders. You remember Clarence McQuaid, you remember uh, all the leaders uh, uh, that uh, uh, made sure that we are liberated in this country. But the funeral is underway here. This is a special provincial official uh, funeral. As you would know that uh, President Ramaphosa has granted uh, uh, this, this great man uh, this kind of of a friend to recognize him, the role he played in politics. Back to you to studio.